Hey guys, it's Roy again. We're gonna be reacting to tattoos again. Okay, so this is a part two of reacting to tattoos. I am very looking forward to it. Let's go. By the way, you know when I do reaction videos, um, I guess some people are like wondering how it feels like to read wrong Japanese tattoos. Well, think of it as like looking at a guy who's wearing a t-shirt that says complete random shit on his shirt. <laughs> like for example, <laughs> It's like looking at a shirt that looks like this, <laughs> you know, like, it's like that. Just, it's just more permanent because it's not a shirt. It's on your body. And so it kind of hurts, but it's also funny. But yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. And uh, I feel sorry for the people who actually have wrong tattoos unintentionally. But anyways, let's get on to it, shall we? So, <laughs> okay, this tattoo says death. Just straight up death. Bruh, that's kind of heavy, isn't it? I don't want the word death on my body. Well, I mean, if you're if you're like those emo type of person, I guess that's kind of cool for you. But death, it just says death. <laughs> okay, um, this one says from the top, man, husband, father. <laughs> I guess grandfather is gonna come next. Oh man. You know, at least align it in one row because, you know, it's kind of off the line, all three words, you know? At least make it, like, neat if you're gonna get that. <laughs> Let's go next. Ooh. Okay, this one says... Well, the last three symbols are not even Japanese, but I know what it says. The first two symbols says, stupid. <laughs> and then the last three symbols says, American. So, he or she got the word, Stupid American <laughs> on on his uh, leg. Damn. Imagine I go to like a foreign country and then I have a tattoo that says like stupid Asian <laughs> in that language of the country. Ouch. I don't know if this tattoo is really stupid or kind of funny. But next. <laughs> okay, okay. I like the font. I like the font. It's really cool. You got it on like this rib cage, which I guess hurts the most when you get the tattoo because it's close to the bone. The font's fancy, and the kanji looks cool, but it says, house. <laughs> I guess he loves his house. I wonder what kind of house he lives in. <laughs> okay, let's just go next. <laughs> okay, another back of the neck tattoo. <laughs> this one's not even a kanji, but... <laughs> Alright, it says, tomato. Straight up tomato. There's nothing to it. So he's got the word tomato on the back of his neck. Oh man, I guess he likes tomatoes. I would get ramen on the back of my neck. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's got the word feet on his head. <laughs> Why? Get it? Feet on your feet. Why on your head? And on the back of his head too. Man. You know, I'm just gonna tell you, that's a head, not a feet. Or that's feet, not head. I don't know which one he got wrong. <laughs> Oh man, he's got the word feet on his head. Next. Okay, let's go next. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, why, why would you get that though? Okay, this one says robber racism. The hell? He's got the word robber on his shoulder and then racism. I don't know what he was going for. Like, is he against robbers or is he for robbers? I guess robber lives matter. Okay, the next one. Oh, okay, so she's got the, you know, the kanji in the middle, and then like this fancy stuff that decorates around the kanji. But in the middle, it says kitchen. <laughs> you know, where you cook. <laughs> she's got the word kitchen on her arm. Are you like a stay-at-home house cook wife 100% or? <laughs> is that your favorite part of your house? Out of all the words, she says kitchen to get on your arm. <laughs> Very funny though, I like it. Next. Okay, this one says Debusen, which means fetish for plus-size people. <laughs> you know, I don't care what you like, if you like plus-size people, go ahead. But why would you get that on your body and show the whole world that you like plus-size people? <laughs> oh man, I like it though. Next. <laughs> okay, this one says Murder Sword. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 
you know? I guess it's like, it's like getting the word Excalibur on your body, but murder sort of, I think is pretty straight up. <laughs> because this symbol, the first two symbol, this refers particularly to murder. <laughs> like the first one means kill, and then the second one means people. So he's got the word murder sword on him. Damn, I think that's pretty hostile, isn't it? <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, like, he got a really cool tattoo, like, on his arms and shoulders, right? And then in the middle, he's got the kanji tattoo. <laughs> but this one says one dollar. Not in a cool way, like 50 cents, you know, the rapper. Not like that. It's more, this one dollar is used more like... So he's got the word in the middle, hyakuen kin itsu, which means dollar store. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe... <laughs> Why though? So I guess he wanted to show to the whole world that he... It's a dollar. You can purchase him for a dollar. He's on discount, I guess. Next. <laughs> she got like two words on her neck, right? It says suido. It means water pipe. <laughs> you know, like sewage pipes, water pipes? Individually, the kanji say water and then road. So I guess she wanted to go for the water road or something like that, you know, maybe she was into Avatar and she's a waterbender or something. But combined together, this word says water pipe. So she's got a whole sink on her neck. <laughs> oh man. Close though. Nice try. Nice try. Okay, next. Oh my god. Okay. He's got two tattoos on his leg, right? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the one on his thighs, it says dai dai chokkin, which just says quads in like a more, in a more formal way. So he's basically describing his muscle right there. It says quads, like quad muscles. <laughs> and then on his knee, it says hizakozo, which means kneecap. So he has the word kneecap on his kneecap and quads on his quads. <laughs> what are you going for, a biology textbook? <laughs> That's like me getting the word arm on my arm. <laughs> They're like pecs on my pecs. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not wrong, you know, but I'm just wondering why you decided to get that. I like the humor, it's funny. <laughs> why? Okay, this one says, Sakana wa kore wo osoremasu, which literally says, fish will be afraid of this. <laughs> why are you trying to intimidate fish with your tattoo, man? So I guess like when he goes swimming in the ocean, and you know, like fish come to him, they see the tattoo, they go like, ah! I mean, I like it though, I actually like this one. <laughs> The programmer is not wrong, the words are not wrong, it just says fish will be afraid. I don't know what it was intention was, but good tattoo, man, good tattoo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this tattoo says ketsu o taberu, <laughs> which means eat ass, like literally. Bro, that's a pretty provocative one there, you know? <laughs> but I mean, I think he knew what it meant. Intentional, I like it. <laughs> Anyways, like, I like watching these tattoos, they're so funny. You know, I react to them, and I have a good laugh with these tattoos, but I bet, like, 70% at least of these people knew what they were going for. And if that was the case, then I love the humor they have. <laughs> it's really funny to watch. And again, it's like seeing people wearing, like, those funny English shirts that makes complete no sense. So yeah, I really like it, and uh, I think that will be it for today. I hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching again. See ya!